All right, with the release of the new patch, I currently have no more replays to download, so I'm gonna go ahead and commentary one of my own games. I am the blue human player. I do have ally color on, and this is a 3v3 game um, between me and five other random team players on US West. Here you see me creeping the green camp outside my base. Ready for action. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this, creep this expansion here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab in four militia, four or five militia, and go ahead and try to keep the camp. So I'm gonna to try to pull them out so I don't get trapped here. And unfortunately, I do, as I get the ball, I see the demon hunter and the demon hunter is doing a lot of damage to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out of this fight. And Ready at this point, I'm trying to, I don't see any additional archers, so I'm hoping that I can creep at this time. But since he's just currently taking out my units, my all my units are in the low, and I'm thinking that this unit's either mounting archers or mounting hunts, and I realize that I'm going to need to be able to fend off an attack very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back my units back here. My partner, on the other hand, um, the Night Elf player, went ahead and got a Beastmaster. Very smart choice, especially since I am an Archmage. And now we see a, the Demon Hunter go ahead and heading back into my base. And I quickly put my Archmage to the back so he's unable to get any more mana burn. Then the Beastmaster here just slowly picking off the unit. And the, my lowest partner is currently level 1, now level 2, and creeping the, uh, the merchant shop right outside here. I'm going to go ahead and build an arcane vault and I'm going to go ahead and once again try to creep my uh, nat natural expansion because I do need level 2 and it turns out to be a very very good move uh, because I get level 2 and I also get a ring of regeneration which you will see shortly. Now so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to, I do not have any uh, mana because of the mana burn so I'm going to go ahead and just try to kill the overmauler. I'm going to get the overmauler first just because I think I will be able to get level 2 if I kill him. I'm going to go ahead and pull back a uh, so I can save him for a long day, heal him with a healing scroll. And with that kill I do get level 2 and I luck out as I get a ring of regeneration. The ring of regeneration will let me heal my archer during this fight, just in case I get pressured again. I do lose a footman here because I am un not careful. My mistake. And this is where Michael really comes in, comes in an important. Take out this Ogre Magi, then take out this Trap. Now, normally I do not like Job's doing my done. own commentaries. And it's just very unexciting for me. I don't learn that much. And I really don't want to talk about myself. But with the new 1.24 patch, I do not have any replays that I can play for you. Ready for action. Now, as you can see, the, uh, I here, and uh, now we have the Demon Hunter back along with an additional Death Knight. So I do have to go ahead and I have to teleport right as the, as the Death Knight is about to uh, death foil me. Now, I have five, six very, very low hit point footmen. Ready for so action. those footmen are not going to be of any use to me. I'm going to go ahead and heal them and put them to the back of my base. And right now, I'm at the mercy of my partners. If my partners decide to save me, I, I can fight off this push, otherwise I really have no choice. I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, push into here. I'm bringing in militia. I do have a lot of Ready extra uh, peasants because I was trying to do a natural expansion earlier, but that failed. I, I, this wall of peasants is just holding up just barely. And now in comes my orc partner and this saves me, this saves my base. Um, I'm able to pull back my peasants. I only lose two peasants, I believe, in the whole entire Ready fight. And um, I did save all six, six of my uh, foot soldiers back there. So I am going to have a good army coming out of this fight. Meanwhile, we do have um, an orc versus archer battle, which is just not very good for archers. Archers, an archers, unless you have a very, very good micro with hide, will quickly fall. Job's done. Now, here we have my partner going ahead and he's going to creep this orange and uh, no camp now it is my personal experience that you should always get this mud golem first this mud golem is half slow it does have normal armor and only 240 hit points so it falls very quickly now and those boulders will start hurting so you got to be careful with your heroes meanwhile i am now going ahead go ahead and pull out of my base Job's i'm done. suggesting to my partners that we hit and just because and they've been harassing and at this point I don't want them to get too much of an economic advantage I don't know if they have expansions I haven't been able to travel to that part of the map yet I'm gonna go ahead and wait for a daybreak and they're gonna pick up a scroll of town portal and then join my partner down here to uh, do this creep camp down here 
Meanwhile, we do see my partner, he is creeping his own uh, mine right now with a Beastmaster and four archers. Why he didn't summon any any units to you know absorb some damage, I don't know. So here we have, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull down here. And I, 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 find, I kind of felt apprehensive, but I did want to get level 3 on my Archmage. So I was hoping that I would get level 3 and it actually got left out. We have a level 3 on my Archmage by 6 hit points or experience points. And we also got level four on the the Torrent Chieftain as well, just just barely. So that was a very very nice play on our part. I'm gonna go ahead and remove Fog of War now, as I want to show you what's happening across the whole entire map. Job's done. We have as the Orc Slayer of the opponent go ahead and creep down this portion. I'm gonna try to uh, creep as well over here. I want to get my Mountain King to level two. I go ahead and summon a Water Elemental. Right as I summon a Water Elemental, I see five. Uh, beams, and I know that I cannot take on that Job's fight. Um, the death knight's gonna come in, so I'm gonna attack. go ahead and, and try to pick up another fight. I see his uh, fiend coming around the top, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly bolt that fiend, stun it, and then uh, put up the bend, and then start to take out those units. I'm going to now surround the death knight, so he's gonna force Job's the teleport. Done. Now that the Mountain King is ar uh, he's already surrounded, so I do not think I want to pull him out, so I just do a quick bolt, you know, a, a martyring shot, and bolt the, uh, death, uh, the DH as he runs away. Now, losing a level 1 second hero is not that, like, it's not that big of a deal. If you can focus better on other micro, uh, then I, I call that a better shot. I, I was able to burn a teleport scroll, and I was able to force them to Research go ahead and push back. Complete. And meanwhile, we have the Orc player here massing grunts, um, just a lot, a lot of grunt here. He's and uh, about to pick up some Kodo Beast. And his right, expansion is getting taken out. If you notice, the, uh, the Torrent Chieftain only got level 2 Aura. So his Shockwave doesn't do as much damage. And Smash U's Shockwave is just able to take this out. Now I, I call, let's go ahead and let's attack the expansion down here. Um, we'll be able to get the Orc player. Um, relatively close, he doesn't have to walk as far as opposed to hitting Night Elf or the Undead player. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn on Fog of War so we have vision again. Now I come in and I see Job's this done. Great Hall, I want to take it out Job's as done. fast as quickly as I can, but I, but we do see the Mo, uh, Modox um, Torn Chieftain getting hit. We got lucky in finding the Orc base as he just had to teleport out and he was already low on hit points. I'm going go ahead, go ahead and try to take out this Great Hall. But at the same time, we see Modok is already pushing in, and this is, I make a mistake here, and I do not support my partner here. So the archers are at the mercy of the grunts. We do see our, our um, uh, orc player bringing in his grunts. He does a shockwave, a little bit long range, but still effective. And now we have a 3v2 battle with orc and night elf versus uh, orc, night elf, and human. We have a teleport in the back, and now we are surrounded on both sides, so this potentially could be very bad, but because we came to the party late, I was, we were able to go ahead and take down the demon hunter, take, take off the pick off the huntresses with archers, and now uh, with the loss of the hero, with loss of the night elf, and forcing the undead, undead player to have to move back. Here we see him lose the lich as well, and this is just not a good fight anymore. This, this great hall, I did wish we took it out earlier, but and that, that's no problem. We're going to go ahead and we're going to push in. We're going to slowly take out these fiends one by one. Just, yeah, just take out the fiend, take out the fiend. The death knight unable to really do anything. Trying to pick off units. Should really, really be concentrating on healing units. Archmage is level 4. Mountain King is at level 2 right now. As the death knight is going to go down. And there we go. So here are the last two fiends coming down at the same time. We have the uh, Arch Night Elf player here protecting our back just in case anything happens. And I believe that's going to be a good game. So thank you very much.